Uh, hi everyone, my name is uh, Ido Rosenbluth, and uh, I'm an artist. That's why I'm dressed this way. And uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a little uh, paper doll cutout. And uh, I've entitled it uh, Ido's Guide to Love. So let's get started. So basically all you really need for this project is some really nice scissors, a hole puncher, um, some round head paper fasteners, and basically whatever drawing material that you'd like. You can also use uh, uh, a glue stick if you want. Um, but basically whatever drawing material you, ha you, uh, you, you have a preference for. I have colored pencils, I have uh, some markers, I have crayons. These are some fancy crayons. You don't have to use fancy crayons, but I have some with me today. And of course I also have some nice some brushes uh, if we want to paint. So basically I've given you two options. You can, if you don't feel like drawing features, um, you can also just draw, uh, you, you can cut out these and use them and glue them onto your heart. But I like to draw and so I will be drawing my own uh, features onto this heart. So. I'm going to take this nice little marker and uh, start going to town. I find that it's, it's easier to um, basically color everything in uh, onto the piece while it's still in the paper and then cut afterwards. So I'm going to get started now. I'm going to do like a nice little eyeball, nice little round eyeball I think. Maybe have him be a little, a little salty. <laughs> some nice little eyelashes, very expressive, okay, yeah, it's a little sleepy I think, <laughs> nice little pupil there, um, what else? Let's give him a nice little nose. <laughs> and then maybe like a little mouth. Some nice red, nice red cheeks, and then I think I want to maybe fill this in with some colored pencil. Or maybe I'll try the crayon. Actually, it might be faster <laughs> for our purposes today. Just gonna fill this in real quick. And obviously you can take as much time as you want or as little time. You know, sometimes quick gestures are nice. Sometimes it's good to take your time. It just sort of depends. It's you know really your preference. I'm gonna give him a nice little um, peachy nose. <laughs> and Maybe some green eyeshadow and some yellow eyes. And then I'm going to get a little water. These are water soluble crayons. So I'll show you what that means in a sec. Take one of my little brushes here. Do 
dip it in the water and you kind of just spread it around spread it around don't want you want to you don't want your, your brush to be too wet so you get the excess off do, 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 do. nice happy little little guy here Spread that around. Spread it around. I feel like Bob Ross right now. My dream has come true. Do, 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 do. You can get over the edges, it's not a big deal because we'll cut it out anyway. Do, do, do. <laughs> my brush, get that right off. I'm gonna go into the nose. Get that nose looking good. Fill that in. Cuts pop enough. So I'm gonna just finish that out. Nice bright yellow eyeballs. Some eye shadow, more, more green, I think. Okay, now I'm going to do the um, the limbs now, and just to keep it keep it fresh, keep it interesting, I'm going to use some uh, colored mark, uh, some colored pencils. Excuse me. And I'm gonna fill in now these limbs here. We got we got two arms and hands, and then two le two legs and feet. And let's see. I'm gonna paint or draw. Let's see. Fill that in now. Just gonna do just a quick, you know. some nice yellow hands kind of like the Simpsons or something that's what I'm thinking big fan of that show let's see should I give him a different color feet why not let's try some some big old red feet Always good to keep your pencil sharpened. Um, give him some red toes. Polish, maybe. Paint up those those hands. And those toes. Give them a 
mm -hmm. a mani pedi. And I'm going to maybe do some blue on top. Do a little fade action. Just sort of light going. As you go down, you're going to use less pressure to lighten up. Kind of looks like the, the French flag. I guess there are also red, white, and blue, too. Could be patriotic. I just thought of the French flag first, a bit of a Francophile. Okay. okay, so I think that's good. Is this dry? You want this to be dry before you cut it out. It's pretty good. So now we time do the trickiest part, which is cutting. Got to have some pretty good cutting skills for this guy. So it's a good, good, good opportunity to work on those. First, cut it out. Just do it pretty roughly. You just want to get it out of there out of the prison of the paper, so to speak. Let's get those things in there. You know, you can take as much time as you want or as little. I'm doing kind of a rougher job, but obviously you can take your time. Can't hurt. Now we got the trickiest part, which is cutting out these guys. Gotta be careful here. It's very treacherous. Kind of didn't give you much room. <laughs> do, 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 Okay, so. Give him some. Freckles, maybe. <laughs> that might be fun. Uh, okay. What are we gonna? Uh, let's finish cutting. Cut out this arm here. You can, you know, try to cut on the line, the black line, but you don't necessarily have to. Once you cut your your bits cut out, now it's the the last so the second to last step. You see where you have these little holes here. Um, going to punc puncture them. Try to have to do it so it's all like that. So try to get away from the edges. Okay. And then you're going to take your tax. This is the last step. So we need one, two, three, four. And going 
to stick your arm and do it by this. Either way it works. Put your attack through there. And then you're gonna open these up. Do the other side. And then you can do your legs. Open these up. And the last one. Okay, so there you go. You have yourself a nice, nice paper doll. Dance around and stuff. So, nice little puppet. So, I think that's it, guys. Thanks so much. Hope you enjoy it.